All right, we're gonna do uh, uh, several different skills lessons. And the first one is gonna be a series of videos on how to uh, set up your tent, how to set up camp. Uh, and so we're gonna go through picking a site and then kind of how to put your tent on that site and then get ready for uh, whatever weather might be coming. And we intentionally picked like a kind of a crappy day. It's gonna rain. Uh, so we're gonna see how we can set up the tent to stay dry, which is the whole point of it. So a couple things, um, I've been, let's say I've been hiking all day <laughs> um, and I, I've gotten to approximately where we're going to camp and a couple things we need to think about. We need to think about wildlife. <laughs> we need to be concerned about wildlife <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we're going we're gonna to leave no trace. So we're going to try to camp on a hard, durable surface that uh, we're, we're not going to uh, impact some sensitive vegetation. So in my backyard, there's not a whole lot of sensitive vegetation except all my wife's planting, so we're not going to camp there. Uh, so we're going to imagine this is not an official campground, so we're going to set it up someplace and then hopefully not leave much of a trace that we were there. A couple of things I want to think about is if we're in bear country, uh, where I'm going to cook, then I'm about 100 yards away from that, so if there's some spot that looks like a really good place to cook. I want to be pretty far away from that or where I might hang my food. I want to be at least 100 yards away from that. I'm also going to think a little about, I know it's going to rain and it's probably going to be coming from the south, the southwest. So I'm thinking a little bit about uh, where the wind's going to come from and make sure I've set up my tent for that. So kind of once I have the general idea where it's going to be, uh, I'm going to look for the slope. I'm looking for bumps, I'm going to have to lay down, so I don't want some place that's too bumpy. Uh, I'll be picking up rocks and sticks and, and getting rid of stuff. It's my yard, so it doesn't have a whole lot of that stuff. Um, and then, you know, again, we're imagining that I'm coming to camp, and usually people want to sit down and rest. There's kind of a golden rule that you always set up your tent first. You don't know what's gonna happen, you don't know how quickly that rain's gonna move in, and so you get your shelter set up first before you do just about anything else. You may, you know, if, if you've been hiking, it's, it, you, you're warm, so you may wanna put on a jacket or something just so you don't get cold while you're doing this. Tent poles are usually cold, so if it's a little bit chilly, I may put some gloves on. Um, I didn't bring a jacket, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, but maybe I'll zip this up. And then, all right, so I'm gonna get out my stuff here. I got my tent. Now notice I'm putting my pack down so all my shoulder straps and stuff are, are up. So if anything gets wet, it's the back of the pack, uh, not the front. And then something I'm not doing is I checked my tent beforehand to make sure that I have everything. Don't just grab your tent and put it in your backpack Make sure you get your tent poles. Make sure you have your ground cloth. Um, and I hope it's all in here. All right. So, we got the ground cloth or footprint. We got the main tent. Wait, can you start over? Sorry, it's uh, the gimbal is going up and down. So just start over with the ground cloth. Say, say okay, I've got the ground cloth. Okay, so I've got the ground cloth, their footprint, uh, the official one, you don't always have to buy those. I've got the main tent, uh, I've got the rain fly, the poles, and the stakes. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is lay out the, the footprint. And again, I'm kind of thinking that there's a little bit of a slope here, so I want my head up. And I think the wind's gonna come from that direction. And I know from this tent that I kinda of want it to hit the side of the tent. It may depend on your tent where you want that. Sometimes there's a side to these that needs to go down. If there's a coating, and so this has coating on this side, I want that coating to last a, a while. So the coating will go up instead of going on the ground. Wind's blowing, I may need rocks, or I may stick the, the tent poles to hold that in place. 
and before I set up everything, I'm just gonna lay down and see what it feels like. Make sure I got the slope right. Little nap. All right, that does feel like that's a little bit downhill, so that's good. Um, all right, so I got the footprint laid out. Got it where I want. I'm gonna set up the tent. Now this one's color coded, so the corners match the footprint. There's kind of a greenish, olive green and a black. Um, there is kind of a, a head to this tent. And let's see. As usual, so the, there's spots for you to put your stuff. See, this meant for your head to go this way. So I have it backwards. So I'm going to turn the whole thing around. get out the poles and this is a freestanding tent and what that means is that the poles uh, I can get this tent to stand up without uh, tying it to anything not necessarily having to have it staked poles have the elastic Set it down, and I'm putting the tip so I can put it in that grommet there in a second. This is easier with two people, but you can do it with just one person. Some tents have little connectors that you connect the poles in. Uh, you want to make sure you've got those too. Do we have to zoom in on this? I think I will. Let me just come around here. All right. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Just takes it a second to kind of, so pull it out again, so they can see what it's. I mean, I'm trying to imagine someone never having set up a tent before. Um, okay, go. Okay, so I'm down here at the corner. There's my footprint. Here's my main tent. They're not quite lined up right now. I'll do that in a second. Now this is set up where I can use the footprint without anything, but the poles are going to go in the tent. So there's the tip, kind of got it so that it can stay in there. And I'll put it in the grommet in that corner. Let the other side sit. <clears throat> Do the same for this corner. Uh, and then I'll go to the opposite. And I'll carefully kind of bend this pole. Oh, sorry. I just want to... Let me back up a little bit. Okay. So I'll bend that pole and get it in, in the other grommet. I can kind of let that sit down, and then I'll do the other one here. And again, these might flop around for a while before you get it straight. And then again, some tents have like plastic pieces for a third or fourth pole. So yours may be slightly different than this. This is a fairly simple tent. And then once you've got your poles in place, then you start clipping things on. There's a couple of older tents that had sleeves that you had to put the poles through. But most of the newer tents now, those were kind of a pain in the butt and they got stuck. Most of them now have these clips. Usually there's a main one you want to start with. This one's got one right in the center. So a little hook, and I'm going to go over both of those poles and roughly center it. So I don't want that to be way off to the side. So there's kind of equal tension on all sides of the tent. All right. Start clipping these. Again, it helps to kind of do them a little bit evenly. And 
what it should look, look, look like at this point is that there's kind of tension all over. Um, and you're making sure that you haven't missed any. That's kind of slid off a little bit. Um, and of course it moved a little bit on the ground cloth. So before I have anything in here, I'm kind of resetting that. Getting it set up on the ground cloth again. Now the ground cloth is gonna help protect the bottom of the tent. It's gonna help me stay dry too. Okay, and then Sometimes I'll stake down the corners, but we're going to wait until we get the rain fly on. Um, I may at this point, since I've got easy access to the inside, is throw my sleeping stuff. i got a liner for my sleeping bag. Sleeping pad. sleeping bag. Um, kind of what you want to do is get the down on your sleeping bag to expand, so it's warmer. So sometimes we'll just throw this in here and let it kind of loft up. Won't worry about arranging anything right now. And then close your tent back up. Right now we don't have mosquitoes, but if we did, I don't want to fill the tent full of mosquitoes. And so I'm keeping the, the tent zippers closed. The other thing you want to do with your stuff is kind of keep it all in the same place so you're not losing these bags and having them blow away. So also, it's kind of I finish using these, I'll stick those inside the tent. Usually throw them in a corner so the next morning when I'm setting, putting the tent up. Alright, so the rain fly definitely has a right side and a wrong side. So I can tell by the zipper cover that that's the outside. Um, you can also see kind of the stitching. Again, the coating will usually be on the inside. And I can see that the seams are sealed on the inside. Also have the, the corners that are color coded on this tent. Again, a lot of tents have that. So I can see I got two corners. This you're always gonna do wrong the first time, so don't worry if it's the rain fly, you gotta like move them around a little bit. So I got the two black ends that go down here. And here there's two places to clip this, this particular tent. Again, I'm going to clip this to the main tent and not to the footprint. Some of these can get pretty tight. Just a sec, let me get around where I can. Okay, start again. Some of these can get pretty tight. Now, as you're clipping these, some of these can get pretty tight. Now, if it's super tight and really hard to connect, then you've probably done something wrong. Um, but it should be a little tight because you want the rain fly to not touch the main shell. So I've done one half. That's a little loose. I've got some things that I could adjust the tension on this. I won't do that yet until I see what it looks like all staked out. Um, but I may want that a little tighter. Now at this point, before I take get the, get the stakes out and um, stake it down, I'm going to kind of pull the corners out uh, and make sure that the tent is kind of fully expanded into its space. Um, it'll be a little hard to do once the stakes are down. gonna end up with a ton of steaks and you may not need all these 
This is for kind of the worst case scenario if you had a lot of heavy winds. Um, we'll start staking this thing out uh, and seeing what we need. Now this tent, like the, the rainfly looks really loose right now. This has what are called vestibules, which are little sheltered areas that are outside the tent. So there's a zipper inside there. And then I've got this space that I can store my boots and my backpack that are gonna stay dry. Now this is where setting up a tent multiple times, you kind of learn a little bit about it. Uh, if I pull too hard on this side, I'm gonna pull the whole tent. So this first one. Wait, I'm start gonna... over. Sorry, if you pull. Now, you'll learn a little bit how to stake out the tent. That's probably the, the part where it's really specific to the tent and you're gonna learn what works for yours. So on this one, if I pull too hard, I'm gonna pull the whole tent. And I also wanna stake it so I don't put too much pressure on the zipper. So I've got a tent stake that through the loop. So for this first one, I'm gonna pull a moderate amount, and then I'm gonna give it an angle so that it won't easily pull out of the ground. So not straight down, kinda of tilt a little bit towards the, the tent, and then use the heel in my hand. Now this soil is really easy to push into usually it's a lot harder and sometimes I'll take my foot on my back of my heel or a rock to bash that in now instead of sticking out one whole side I'm gonna go all the way to the other side and kind of even up the tension and do the same thing on this vestibule A little bit harder. Push that in. And I'm kind of like watching the side of the tent to see like do I need to pull that a little bit to the left or right in order to get it nice and tight. Uh, what you don't want to do is to have it too loose and when the wind comes up it starts flapping like crazy. Uh, that's going to make it more likely that you get uh, either the tent gets damaged or you're going to get rain on the inside. Okay, with these two vestibules, it's pretty clear that I'm not going to get rain on this these two sides of my tent. But I can see on this end that some of the main tent body is kind of sticking out. So right now, if, if it rained here, it's going to touch the tent, and anything that touches the tent, I'm likely to pull moisture on the inside. So I'm going to use this uh, additional stakeout, and I've added this line that didn't originally come with the tent. And now when it rains, it's going to come down the fly, and unless the wind's really blowing, it's going to hit the ground instead of my main tent. Do that on the other side. Now I'm going to kind of look over the whole thing. So I've got some spots, this is a little loose. So I might want to restake this to make that a little tighter. I'm looking and kind of assessing when it starts to rain, is there any spot that's going to get the main tent wet? <coughs> now no tent design is perfect. You'll notice that these corners are kind of sticking out. So the rain's probably going to come from this direction. So I will get a little bit of rain on the tent itself, and there's not much I can do about that. Um, actually, that tensioner helps a little bit, and I didn't tighten before. Now 
Now I do have four more stakes, so I could stake the, the corners of the tent down. And since I'm not anticipating really high winds, um, I don't necessarily have to do that. Um, now, if we really think there's going to be a lot of wind, let's say coming from this side, there are these additional stakes, uh, or stake out points, and the tent comes with some additional lines that I could tie onto there and then tie out the tent or tie this off to a tree. Um, I've had tents blow into the ocean. I've had uh, tents that have collapsed from high wind. So if I do think that there's some really high winds or I'm in a site that's really exposed, this has got a little bit of shelter from the wind, then I may actually use one of these. All right, so on this tent, there's a few more things that I wanna do. Uh, one is that there's some vents. So these allow a little bit of airflow to get into the tent. Um, getting airflow is gonna help with keeping the, the, the tent a little bit dry on the inside because you're breathing in moisture. So unless it's really, really cold, I wanna use these. Um, and then this one down here, now this one I'm gonna set up now, but later on, once it starts raining, I may actually close that one. Depends on how much the rain's coming into that. All right, well, we'll do another video on, on what to do on the inside of that tent. Um, but for right now, we're, we're pretty set on this. And there's a, there's a few more things that we'll talk about on the inside, but I think we're ready for when it rains later on today. Um, and then we'll come back out and see how well we did at keeping this dry.